Hi guys, just a quick quick update now. It's a slight snag when it comes to putting the tail rotor in. As you can see, tail rotor is all done now. Now, you can see there, I put a bit of a cocktail stick in. There you go, better view. Now, if you remember from my, when, I, when I put the two holes together, there was actually a little shaft that was coming out there because unlike the Airwolf video, I actually glued it in. Now, when I put it in the back of there and I was putting it on, it was a bit tight. So what I should have done was drilled the hole a bit wider, but I didn't. So anyway, I was putting it on there like that and I was twisting it to get it all the way in and it snapped and I thought you bastard so what I did is I cut it off made it flush cut it off there made it flush and then I was just going to glue it on with the flat sides with some super glue and I thought to myself well I'm not sure if the super glue is going to hold it because there's nothing to grip onto really so like I said I've put that cocktail stick in there the pointed end I've also drilled all the way through because there's like a circle bit there drilled all the way through and I've put the pointy end of the cocktail stick into there you can probably just make it out and then I snapped a bit off the bottom and then all I've got to do is slip that in there and you can see that it sits in perfect all I've got to do now is just put a drop of glue inside there and it's all done a slight snag but I've managed to sort it. Stay with me. Hi guys. Right, this is the finale video, as I'm going to call it. Uh, decals have been put on. I've put on the final detailing for the uh, final construction, and she's all ready. And I'm really chuffed on how she's turned out. Right, let me just sit down. There we go. As you can see, there she is. Now what I'll do is I'll start from the front. As you can see, like I said, with the final construction, I've put that antenna on there. And I've painted that in the yellow. That is very, very flimsy, by the way, guys. So you might want to leave that till final construction because it will bend into weird, into weird positions. Like I said, you remember the gun. Let me just turn this around. Like I said, I've not long finished her. She's been finished about about 45 minutes uh, there's a, a little footrest now you'll notice that I haven't put the shark decals on I'll explain that in a moment there's two antennas like L shape antennas coming out here and one on the other side they kept they snapped on me so I took them off now that decal there is like a duck and it's got those guns under his wings so that's on there and I've got the star decals on here um, that must represent how many kills he's got I've used, also used the kit decals for those stripes now when I was putting that star decal on there that star in the corner there actually tore on me and it hung on by a thread on the corner but I managed to get it back into place and uh, it was while I was putting the clear gloss on to seal her. Now, let me just turn it around here. I've also put um, a regimental crest on there. That was actually two decals. You had like a white one underneath, and then you had to put another one on to silhouette the fact that silhouette all the other colours on. So it's like a two part decal, and you got the Russian logo there, Russian flag also with the kit markings for those stripes now what I did is I did I did try to use the shark decals and it would have gone from all the way down there around there and stepping over that part there unfortunately I managed to get it into place when it comes to the stepping the decals kept tearing on me because even though the Linden Hill decals are brilliant you know with the extra detail and all the extra flags and all the logos they are very very flimsy so like I said tore on me around there but I, ma I managed to I, I was going to try and top up with some paint later on 
But as I was putting my clear gloss all the way around, the bit here lifted with the brush and just tore it. So I thought, screw it. Shame, but screw it. I'll take them off. It's a shame. But at the end of the day, I didn't buy the uh, sharp mouth decals. I actually bought the Russian. It was just an added bonus. So that's explaining the sharp decal. A shame, but you know, no matter. Right, I've also gone ahead and put the uh, the Russian star on. Also on the other side there as well. And also on the other side with that regimental badge there, look as you can see. Now again, like the regimental badge, that is a two, two part decal. Because when I put the actual um, red part of the red star on you can see the outer lines there the outer red lines well I put it on and it was just like it blended into the colour of the uh, camo and I thought to myself well hold on I wonder what them white stars are for I read the placement guide remember that placement guide that I got with the decals you actually put the white one on first wait for it to dry well you know dab it down with a cloth or whatever and then I put that on Took a couple of, you know, about a minute to get it right into the place, you know, get it perfect, you know, to get it perfect to overlap, but I managed to do it in the end, so that, that looks better. I've also gone ahead and put the 33 on. There was various numbers, there was 06, there was a 44, I think there was a 77, but I settled on the 33 because I like the fact that it got the, uh, that's actually one decal by the way, it's actually got the uh, white printed on the outer. So I'm actually that's why I put that on. I've also done it on the other side as well. I've also put the warning decal on, which says looks like O oh, Nacho. I don't know how the Russians pronounce it, but that means danger because I've got the English um there's an English decal on there. It's not, not for the British forces, it's for, for the Ivory Coast. Now, I don't know if I can get underneath there. Underneath there, you'll see where the uh, landing support gear goes. And what I did is I couldn't, I tried to step it over, but it tore. So, what I did is I cut the decal in half and put it at each side of the, the uh, landing um, strut. And then I just put it, got some uh, bright yellow paint and just touched that up. You won't see it, but I thought I might as well touch it up with a bright yellow paint. I've also done the same on that side as well underneath there, cut it in two and touch it up with the bright yellow paint. I've also done the tail, glued that into place and also did the camo. Now, I've also done the tail rotor, if you remember from my last update on this video with the cocktail stick, well it's glued into place now, glued in lovely with the super glue. And basically I've done painted the whole thing in uh, the dark grey. Now when it came to the each of the endings, the tips, there was actually a decal that you wrap around, but like the airwolf, I wasn't gonna do that because I knew I wouldn't get it taut enough. So basically what I did is I masked all this off and just left the tips exposed, and then I got my white uh, primer that I did the Ghostbusters with and just sprayed those. And then I put a bit of that blue mold border tape over the white, and then put a bit there as well for the edge of the red, yeah, red, and just painted those, and then just took the masking tape off, and it looks really good. I've also done all that in silver. I don't know if you can make that out. There's a little like triangle set, three prong triangle assembly on there. I had to glue that on after once I've put the glued onto there, and then I've painted that in silver as well. You'll also see a little clear light there, it's like a clear warning light, I didn't bother painting it. And you've also got these two like antenna looking things coming out of there. I don't need to explain the guns because I've already done it. And last but not least, the tail rotor, as you can see, it's five rotors. Now basically, I don't think you can make that out, but basically you've got the tail rotor and then you've got like this S shaped uh, little bar. There's a hole there on each one. So you, you glue that in, glue the hole, the little tap into the hole, and then basically underneath this cap, it wraps into the uh, circular centerpiece. 
you basically it's an, it's an S shaped and then it glues into there so what I did is I put a drop of super glue in just to you know keep it secure as it went in each side the, the actually the actual overlap each other as you put in put them into the center piece then I put this modesty cap on on top of that super glue that on and then like I said about 45 minutes ago I just put this just you know painted it all in silver including that cap and got in the nooks and crannies and uh, that's it all done again I'm uh, really chuffed on how she's turned out so uh, there'll be some still shots at the just just after this in mere moments and uh, that's it guys she's all done thanks for watching hopefully I'll see you very soon